Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Pukeko, widespread and brightly coloured rails that have benefited greatly by the clearing of lands for agriculture. I hope you enjoy. Pukeko are compact rails at about 45cm in length and weighing about 950 grams, also being extremely recognisable. They have a bright red frontal shield and a deep violet head, neck and breast, alongside a black back and wings, and long legs which assist them both for striding and wading. Birds are most similar in appearance to Takahe, though these birds are twice the size and are flightless, being overall more robust looking and having a green back and wing cover. Although this hasn't stopped hunters from accidentally shooting Takahe by mistake by thinking they look like their smaller relative. They are primarily herbivorous, eating roots, shoots of grass and seeds, of which they typically hold in a parrot-like fashion with one foot, stripping off the outer layers of their beak to get at the tender tissues within. A small portion of their diet is also made up of other animals, including small insects, spiders and worms, and will also take even larger prey like frogs, skinks, fish and even small birds for additional energy. They are found throughout New Zealand, though being less common in drier regions, with them typically being found near sheltered fresh or brackish water, from sea level to 2,300 metres above. They are also not exclusively found in New Zealand, occurring across many South Pacific islands and in Australia, Asia and Africa with the swamp hens that colonised New Zealand likely flying in from across Australia around 1,000 years ago or less. While not looking like they can fly, they are indeed capable of doing so, often to the surprise of people not familiar with them, though they do often seem awkward and laboured at times, especially when taking off and landing, usually preferring to run away when given the choice. In addition to this, Pukeko are interesting in having quite the complex social life and behaviour, with birds in many areas living in permanent social groups and defending a shared territory, which is used for both feeding and breeding. They also have a highly variable mating system, where birds may nest as monogamous pairs, but will also form polyandrous, polygyandrous, and more rarely polygynous groupings, with any of these groups often having non-breeding helpers. When multiple breeding females are present, they all lay in the same nest, which is known as joint laying, with their clutch sizes typically being 4-6 to six eggs, with totals of 18-26 through 26 being seen. They are also highly territorial, with ridiculously flamboyant and aggressive interactions being known to occur amongst neighbouring groups, and even against people in some circumstances. What's been found through studies of their behaviour, their bright red shields strongly correlates to social dominance, acting as a kind of badge or the colour of a karate belt to infer their stasis, and when their crests were painted over to reduce the perceived size of the shields, once dominant ringleaders almost instantly lost said status, and were then challenged by other birds vying for their turn at the top. Said birds were also noted to have actually shrunk the size of their shield in response, likely because of hormonal changes brought upon by the increased challenge, and also as a way to signal their declining dominance. Birds that send mixed signals, e.g. having a shield which reflects the status lower than their actual dominance, will also be more aggressively interacted with by the Pukeko, who aim to figure out how tough they really are. How they're treated by people is wide-ranging, with some considering them as having a friendly, though partly cheeky reputation, and some in the opposite way, with them in some areas being considered as an agricultural or garden pest, birds often causing damage to tree planting programs on critical offshore islands, as well as eating populations of birds currently endangered. For these and other reasons, landowners and managers will occasionally and legally seek permission to cull Pukeko, either through shooting or poisoning, the extent of which varies depending on the area, the bag limit being 20 on the west coast and 10 in South Canterbury as a general example. Pukeko, being recent arrivals and also being familiar with the introduced mammals of the country from elsewhere, do find in their presence, though traffic collisions are a big source of mortality that in time could and should be avoided where possible. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are able to vote for the North Island Kogako, very adept hoppers through New Zealand's canopy, and with a haunting song to boot. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.